Welcome back to another career series video, except today we have to actually rescue someone and tow their boat to the docks for repairing. And I don't really think our boat is capable of that, but we're going to make it capable and we're going to add an actual low gear mode just so we can tow it for today. All right, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a gearbox. This is going to be very quick. So if you're not really here for the building, it'll be quick. So hold on. So we're just going to put this here and we're going to grab ourselves a gearbox and we're going to put this when it's on into a low gear mode. So this will make us go much slower, but it'll also make us have much more torque and it should kind to make us go faster maybe i don't know we'll see how it'll work so there we go we got that done we're going to connect electric to it and now we need an actual button for this to turn on with so i think number four on here is clear um number four number four yep perfect all right i think we're good so i've had like so many rescue missions pop up saying a boat requires servicing and then i have to bring them to the sawyer fright terminal thing so i'm kind of thinking just since this is our first actual trip today we're going to go over there and pick up this guy and then bring him down that's the closest one and it's kind of like our test one too so he's going to be our guinea pig here and we're going to see if this will work so here we go we're on full throttle and also electric should never be an issue on this thing i did some fine tuning and we will be fine so where's this actually at so it's over there so we have to go directly left so we have to go somewhere over there and then bring them back down to the harbor dude we have like no visibility out here it is rough it's been really bad the past couple of days i don't know what's going on here let's get in the helm and kind of look at our weather map here so wind oh we're in a patch oh no the last time we checked this patch was over here and now it's slowly starting to spread over here hopefully Hopefully we miss this red area i think we will um let's go to fog okay um also this fog's going straight towards us and uh rainstorm also oh this is great guys this is honestly lovely you know that's just what happens when we're in career you know expect the unexpected at this point because it's really unexpected but yeah i also added additional ropes to this thing on the back here so we have three ropes um solar panels we already had air's going great um engine bay i actually added bilge pumps here on the side so if we go on the side bow bilge and stern so in the stern there's actually two more bilge pumps um you know because it's a little bit larger here so yep we are doing good but i really don't like how this thing hits waves because as you see the waves go actually over the deck completely i know this is a very small boat but i just really don't like that um i don't know if there's much we can do i've added a whole bunch of robotic pivots to kind of like try lifting up the front a little bit more but it just doesn't do it you guys notice that too the waves are getting much worse oh this is really bad is the storm actually coming over here we're on wind right now we're probably over here so i think it's slowly going over here this is going to be a rough mission guys but in a couple minutes here that person should appear like right around there um i think we're going towards them i hope we are at least um it's, i really doubt they're doing that well in these waves though i'm having a really hard time trying to find this guy what we're gonna do is completely stop the engine here so we don't like go flying over these waves um he should be around like right here shouldn't he maybe a little bit higher so maybe in front of us a little bit um dude it is so bad out here right now i don't know what is going on but no actual boats in sights maybe a thermal binoculars could help this um thermal maybe oh um oh gosh this is is really bad okay i'm gonna stay towards the back of the boat here thermal binoculars help maybe at all um i don't think so guys okay we're just gonna keep going forward this is kind of concerning i'm gonna be honest i have no idea where this guy's actually adds but i did realize there's actually a boat right behind our island that we could have just gone to and we're probably gonna go over there because i have no idea where this guy's hiding at he probably sank um yeah who knows but now the real question is if i can navigate myself home and maybe we could maybe find him on the way back i doubt it though i really wish they'd launch a flare even if their boat needs service all right so we're passing a fairly large mountain on our port side here or island i should say um but then on that little pixel two pixels right there there's someone on that island and they need help that island is also for sale for only a hundred thousand dollars so if any of you guys are up for that um yeah go ahead and bid on it but i feel like the game really wants me to do these like transport missions i've been sleeping trying to get different ones but i guess we're gonna be doing these i'm kind of up to it though it seems interesting and i'm kind of worried though because um we burned through like almost 600 liters of fuel already already pretty insane but now all we can do is hope that he's at this island right here at least it's like actually on an island and not like in the middle of the ocean where we have to track them down um they possibly could have sank also right, you guys see that right there we got an island in sight okay so that's the island that a boat supposedly is stranded at i'm not seeing anything there's actually a workbench on that island pretty cool all right so where's this boat at that needs maintenancing or whatever oh gosh please be over here if you're not this was a huge waste of my time is that a boat right there nope um hello hello any boats over here Mo moment of true oh wait what oh there we go okay i was actually concerned there for a second okay we have a boat perfect all right so we're gonna cut down our throttle right here don't run into them oh my gosh okay we're not trying to do that today um all right hello sir i'm gonna be towing you um i'll connect the rope just like that i'll connect that one to the center one there all right perfect and then oh it's really getting rough over here okay so i'm gonna connect two more just for extra safety you know all right there's two more for you hopefully that has enough slack in it um there's no one even on that boat okay whatever um is that fine though 
though? Can I pull him like that? Oh, that's really close. Please be careful. Um, oh gosh. Okay, you know what? Here, we're gonna do this. We're just going to get rid of these side ropes here. That seems way too dangerous. Okay, so we'll just have that one rope in the center. That'll work, even though that's a little bit sketchy, but you know, it'll work. It'll work. Okay, just connect that. Start driving here. See if we can even drive. All right, here we go. We're starting to move. Oh, I think we got it. All right, we are towing a boat right now. Um, going very slow. Okay, um, wait, low gear mode. Number four is low gear. Here we go. Um, we're in low gear going around the same speed, maybe a little bit slower. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick in high gear. All right, so now I have to transport him. Let's see, all the way down to that harbor right there. Okay, lovely. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so we're gonna be doing that going five meters a second and possibly overheating my engine completely here. What's it at right now? Um, 25 Celsius. That's actually really cold. Um, it's starting to rise though. It's under stress, which makes sense, but I don't think we have really good cooling for this engine, so I think we should be all in the good here. We're just going really slow though. It's been like 10 minutes and we've only made it past the island that we've actually um, live at here and this thing weighs so much oh my gosh so much drag well, let's go ahead and check our engine real quick for um actual overheating so down here 32 celsius that's perfect nope no overheating problems i think we're doing just fine just air and fuel problems um we're just going very slow waves have picked down fog is still going strong though i can say that i think the windstorm is actually past us let's see yeah so an entire like windstorm blew past us in this time um fog is still terrible rain also went past us so we're good in that regards that's good we came from that island we're going straight down to these docks down here and i really hope this thing pays pretty good because it literally has been the most like interesting thing ever um yeah but i'm really curious what i would even do if i like fell off the boat right here i feel like i would just have to like drown like in the water because what else would you really do in that situation guys it's like sunset right now it's gonna get so dark oh not again um was it wait was there anyone on that boat i hope there wasn't because they're not gonna be there for long um we're gonna turn on our um lights here oh it looks really bad because it's so foggy and you can like visually see all the lights oh no wait a second you guys see that guys i think we are about to actually port and dock we're gonna turn off these lights they're like really blinding okay you see it better now we have some lights oh finally the actual lights besides our navigation lights that was interesting all right so wait why do we have a low fuel warning on our generator what i don't understand that okay anyways um we have 2,000 liters of fuel left we can probably do that trip again two more times if we wanted to but absolutely not i really don't like doing these transport missions but the game really wanted me to um wait what's this over here um uh, extreme weather activity has caused a large scale ocean displacement oh I, a tsunami yep there it is okay so a warning has been issued um one civilian needs evacuation okay so all that matters is that that circle isn't in my home area perfect all right so maybe we might have to rescue that guy today oh no Okay, well, let's dock this thing. Oh my gosh, it just got really dark out here, guys. It is getting spooky, okay? We are not trying to scare any ocean life here. It is like no one for miles. I don't know where in the world I'm even at. I mean, I do have a map here, but anyways, um, we're going to this dock here. Let's start turning it right a little bit more so we can line it up. And I'm kind of confused on how this works. Do I just drop the boat off at this dock? Um, Destination, it does, yeah, we just drop it. We just drive it towards the dock. What if I disconnect it and then bring it back with me and use it for parts? Oh, we are so smart. Is the boat act? Wait, is that black smoke coming out of the engine? I cannot tell if it's black smoke or not, but um, the boat's still back there. I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty good. Um, we're like going so slow. What's going on? Um, six. Nope. We're still going our normal speed. Wait, can we sleep on these medical beds to like make it daytime? Oh no, we can't. Oh no, I really need to add like an actual real bed on this thing. We might have to get rid of the medical beds because I want a bed that we can like kind of switch it to daytime in and just maybe we could live on this boat instead of our actual island. Um, I don't really see a point of living on the island besides the fact that when we respawn this we get free fuel i mean that is true so you know what we'll just keep living there for now i'm just worried that that tsunami is gonna like appear behind us somewhere hold on we have binoculars for a reason here we go anything going on back there nope not anything going abnormally okay so our dock is straight up there but as you can see on our map here we are slowly closing in everyone clear the area we are coming in going hot everyone watch out we're going six meters a second oh gosh so fast all right anyone over here that i can um rob this better be like at least 10 grand i swear if it's not we're never doing one of these transport missions again i'm not gonna do them if it like only gives me like 5k or something or three matter of fact three would be terrible all right here we go we are entering the dock any second now it should tell us um that we're getting the payday here um maybe here we go like right now do we have to be in that exact area right there i think we do yeah probably so we're gonna start turning right here maybe is that the correct direction i think so it is so dark i really don't want to like drive this thing straight into the island here good thing we have thermal binoculars okay so 
So we're just going to drive it straight into the workbench right there, I'm, I think. Well, all right, we're here. Please take my money. I want to go home. It's so creepy over here. Oh, gosh. What is even going on over here? Who knows? Um, We're here. Please. Oh, we need to stop before we hit the... Oh, we got... Are you joking? 2,500... Yep. Okay. Never doing that again. That is actually so annoying. Okay. Yeah. You take your boat here. Honestly, I should just bring that back home and scrap it, but that's a waste of my time. You guys are pathetic. I'm never doing these missions again with your scams. Get out of here. Oh, don't hit the freaking island. Oh gosh. Okay. So where, what do we do now? Um, you guys have fun with your boats. What do we do? We could go straight to that evacuation mission. That is pretty far out. I do remember actually picking someone up from that evacuation island on that one video a couple days ago. So that is that island right there it's a single pixel let's zoom in so maybe it's two now there we go but yeah we're gonna start turning right here i think we're gonna go over there actually wait no we shouldn't we should go home take a nap and then go over there just so we can see the tsunami maybe actually nighttime let me know in the comments if you like it being at nighttime or if you would rather have it be at daytime so you can actually see better because i know on youtube it's like super bad quality when it's dark out and like you can barely see but yeah i think we're just gonna go home and then pick them up and bring them to the evacuation zone and probably get hit by a massive of tsunami that's gonna hurt really bad uh you guys see that light right over there that blinking red light that means home okay turn towards that we need to get a good night's rest we have a, a big rescue mission here um civilian and a tsunami oh no okay red light where did it go oh great um somewhere over there there it is home sweet home oh yeah can we click b yes we can okay we're gonna save this all right let's go take the nap of our life hopefully we don't get hit by a tsunami when this actually um happens here so we're sleeping wait till it gets to day just like that perfect it's day wake up oh great yay um any tsunamis in sight oh it's actually done with the fog finally we're done with all those storms this seems to be a great day nothing bad could happen at all okay so let's grab our boat here in the workbench and we should probably put a bed somewhere on it just so we don't have to like ever go back and waste our time doing that again um should we have two medical beds or one oof i don't know uh can we put a bed up here no you know what for the size of the boat we don't need two medical beds it's just kind of over dramatic we'll do one here we go this will be our bed that we sleep in right there we're gonna save this oh look at that we got our little bed there perfect no more driving home uh missing required diesel wait wait missing required diesel to fill tanks to request level what i don't okay whatever okay we're gonna start this up and start driving all right so now we actually have visibility so we should be able to see actually we don't even need to use that we probably will just go straight over there from there perfect but now the real question is going to be can this thing survive a tsunami if one ever does happen which is kind of concerning because we've never tested that but we do have a quite low center of mass, actually. There's a whole bunch of weight blocks even below the hull of the boat. So I think we should be more than fine. But of course, I'm a little bit concerned with all this extra stuff up here. But just in case any of that does happen, oh, our flashlight actually ran out of electric. This has been our flashlight since day one. But here we go. We're going to drop it in the ocean. There it goes. Oh, yep. There. Okay, bye. Um, Let's grab a new flashlight here. Right here. And we're going to grab some. Ooh, I thought I packed some oxygen mass. Was it on this side? Oh, no. Um, Okay, no oxygen mass. We'll just grab some health equipment that'll work same thing except it's not the same thing because you cannot use these when you're underwater so oh that's gonna be really rough okay well we'll see what happens if it even does happen up oh, here we go waves are starting to pick up um emergency call from oil another rescue mission managed to get civilians to safety was that this one right here i really hope it wasn't um guys i think it possibly was them 1.0 wait it's like kind of lighter than it normally is does that mean they actually rescued themselves are you kidding me wait no i think we can still like go over there though there's like a fire i think now yeah, probably what we'll do, we'll just stop up here, check up on them, and if there's no one, we'll just get at all over here, maybe fill up with fuel. No, we're fine. Um, yeah, so we currently have an emergency call. Um, oil separator caught on fire. Workers can't put it out on their own. Um, there's a very high risk of an explosion, but no information on casualties. Oh, great. So, possible explosion. We actually don't have a firefighting suit on this thing. Probably should. Yep, so we do have eyes on an active fire over there. That is not good. Possible explosion, too. If I die, I'm actually gonna lose it. I think we'll be fine though. I, they're normally over dramatic about it. Also, is that a boat over there? Um, wait, what the heck? That is a boat. Wait, is that that rescue boat that we need to? Re oh, it is. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that. They really think I'm gonna bring that boat all the way over there for 2,500. That is a joke. All right. Um, major fire. Let's grab our fire extinguisher up on the front right there. Perfect. All right, coming into dock. You know what? We don't have time to dock here. We're just gonna do this. We'll just drive straight. Oh, oh no! Oh, we completely rammed the front. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, drop everything. Drop everything. Start repair. Start repair.
repair. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Okay, start. Front build. Everything builds right now. That was really bad. Okay, fire out. Fire is out. Okay. Um, I can confirm we do have water in the bow. Slowly starting to fill up. I already feel it. This is really bad. Okay, we are repairing as much as we can currently. We are going to go actually underwater here with an underwater welder. I think we have one of those, right? Maybe. Oh, no. Did I not pack one? I think there might be one down here. No. Wait, what? Why isn't there an underwater welder in here? Oh, this is bad, guys. This is really bad. All right. Well, bilge pumps are on. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're just going to try maybe shooting the fire from here. Do you think we can reach it? Who knows? Um, oh, I think we might be able to. We're going to see, though. I see, like, some smoke. You guys see that? Maybe we're getting it out. I don't know. Possibly. It might have just exploded, too. So it's probably good we're doing it back here. I might be being pretty smart, but let's go back up there and see if we actually got it out here. So, oh, gosh. Okay. Um, hopefully, the boat doesn't float away. It probably might. Okay, it's fine. We will deal with it. All right. Real question. Did that put out the fire? Let's see. Let's see if that actually put out the fire. That'd be so cool if it did. Do you think it should have paid me by now if it did? So, I don't know if we actually... Oh, yep. I see some fire still. Okay, watch out. I'm going to get myself to full health here. Looks like you guys gave up with the fire extinguisher pretty quick. Okay, that might explode. It looks like it might. Oh, gosh. Stand back, guys. Stand back. I think we actually put out one of the fires on it, which is really good. Okay, so we're going to keep putting out the fire. If that explodes, we are definitely going to die. All right. Slight fire. Slight fire. Not an issue. All right. Keep putting out the fire. You know what? We'll just stand right here. I don't think it'll explode. Just keep putting out the fire. Okay, we are taking a little bit of damage. Completely fine, honestly. I am a trained search and rescue person. Um, I can kind of see why you guys stopped using the fire extinguisher. It doesn't, like, work at all. Um, yep, definitely can tell. All right, I'm going to jump on top. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but here we go. Jump on top. Put out the fires with the direct flame. There we go. Three grand. Oh, yay. Three thousand. What am I going to do with that? Okay, I think we're good here. Are you guys all good? Yep. Um, follow. Worker. Oh, wait. Can we bring you here? Do I need to rescue anyone? I don't think I do. Okay, yep. You guys have fun here. I don't know why there's so many people, though. Okay. Um, where's my boat at? Hello? It should be down directly down there, but it could have floated away, which that would suck. All right, boat. Hello? There it is. Perfect. Uh, we made three grand today and tw plus 2,500. So we have made around six grand. Wow. Okay. We've definitely had better days. We made that from like rescuing two people. So I really hate these um transport rescue missions. Never again. Nice. And I just got the news that we need to bring one of them to a hospital. Okay. You turn. Oh no. There was like 200 people there. We'll make another three grand from them. So I think we'll be um good. All right. Who needs to go to the hospital? Probably the only person I can actually bring maybe. Um, What about these two people over here? Hello. Hello. You guys need to go to the hospital manager. Dude, you are so getting fired after this. Um, OSHA is going to be on his butt after what just happened there, but we're going to bring this guy back to the hospital and cash out our checks here. All right, we'll set you right there. Put on um reverse and start throttling up. Here we go. Get the heck out of here. All right, you're on full health. Great. We're going to start turning your slam it and drive, completely destroy our gearbox and start back up and go to the hospital. Yeah, we're also running into a patch of rain currently. Wind is also the mainland's completely getting hit by a big patch of wind. So that's great. Let's zoom out on our map here. See how we should navigate back home. So if we go that way, we should go back home, but we need to go like to the little bit of a larger island. So probably the bottom one, I think. Yeah. All right. 20 minutes later, we have the island in front of us. We have the dock right there in the hospital there. And that's where we are going to actually end off at. I'm pretty sure, right? Coming in for a dock. Where is this dock? Right there. Um, We did add some dock things on the bow here. So we're going to start slowing it down like right now, like right now. Shut it down. Shut it down. Okay. We need to be careful with this. Okay. Start it back up. Uh, maybe we'll drift into it here. We're going to start going and I'll cut it off here in just a second right now. Perfect. And then we're going to go up here. Go ahead and connect the ropes with our full inventory. Who needs a fire extinguisher? Oh, we're dipping. Okay, connect that. Perfect. Um, Passenger. Hello, it's time to wake up. Hopefully I have the right person here. If I don't, I don't know what to tell myself. All right, here we go. All right, before we go in there, are you on full health? Here you go. Yep, you're on full health. So I should get two or three grand from this person here. We're going to walk in here. All right, and I got two grand. Yay. All right, what in the world happened in here? There's like furniture thrown all over. Debbie must have had like a temper tantrum or something. Um, Hello, lady. How's it going doctor all right anyone else in here anyways okay we need to get back home but as you can see we're like really leading towards the front so our bilge pumps are not really working so for the grand finale we're gonna completely flood this thing here we go we are flooding it right here i hope we can bring it back to the workbench oh gosh yep there it is okay bring it back all right that's pretty insane we did survive though today surprisingly let me know if we should continue this series and let me know what i should add to this boat to make it better but that's probably gonna be it for this video make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye.